Morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.55, and this is your pre-opening comment. It's video number 497 this Tuesday, Election Day. Thank God elections are almost over. I'm so tired of looking at those ridiculous ads where, you know, not half, but all the people are lying, both sides. Okay, so uh, we had a big earnings beat today. Um and uh, at Wayfair, symbol W, and it beat top and bottom line, and the stock had closed yesterday at 255, traded as high as 302 this morning, and uh, the last is 273 and change, still up 1767, so that's acting particularly well. Uh, PayPal, which reported last night that beat both top and bottom line, uh, traded down. It uh, traded as low as 174 um, in late market. This morning, it's traded only as low as 175. Uh, and the last is 175.97, down 11.62, or 6%. Uh, Mondelez beat top and bottom, and the stock is unchanged. Um, Royal Carib and Carnival both uh, canceled all trips through the end of December. And this one is a surprise, Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -A. Um, they own a piece of uh, Ant, which is the biggest uh, IPO in history, it looks like. Um, but it was postponed today. And uh, Alibaba, as I said, owns half of it, uh, pardon me, a third of it. And the stock is down over $20 on that news. Uh, it traded as high as 313 this morning or 311 this morning. Uh, then it traded all the way down to uh, the 280 area. And it's currently trading around 287. So that's pretty ugly, down $22. Um, there was also a statement out by Saudi Aramco. I can't give you a price because it doesn't trade here. Um, but uh, their statement was talking about the fact that their revenue and earnings are going to be down 45%, which for an oil company is not overwhelming. Uh, Europe is up, Asia is up, following in our footsteps. The oil is the chart on the screen. And as I mentioned last night, it got down to 33.64 and then closed on the high of the day uh, up a dollar two. So a three dollar range, which is pretty extreme. Um, and this morning on uh, news that uh, Russia may withhold production increases, uh, oil is up yet again. And this morning it's up another dollar 28. So uh, low yesterday. Uh, 33.64, high so far today, 38.30. That's a 16% move from low yesterday to high so far today. Um, the gold is a bit higher. Uh, let's see, up uh, $14. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's helping Newmont along. Uh, and it looks like we're coming out of this. We've already, uh, the uh, five day has already turned up a little. And, uh, you know, it, it looks pretty interesting. And of course, it's helping our silver trade. Um, in case you have forgotten, we own the silver two to one advancing ETF, AGQ. And uh, as you can see, it too has moved up and it seems to be answering the question that I asked last week, uh, which was what's more important, a double bottom or general support or a moving average. This is the 100 day. It closed below it twice, but now it's solidly above it again and above the five and right on the 20. So uh, we'll have to see how that works out. And uh, I just want to show you the dollar because I'm 
really surprised that bonds are down, so rates up, and the dollar is down a half a dollar, which is really surprising. I mean, that helps the international commodities like our silver, like the gold, like oil. Um, but it's really kind of a surprise. I guess it shouldn't be much of a surprise because we ran right into the 100-day MA. Um, I would not be the least bit surprised to see this hold right in here at, uh, well, it's 93.61, 93.38, 93 93.40, and start back up. All right, everyone. Uh, that's it for, the oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the S&P is due to open up 36, the Dow is up 368, and the NASDAQ is up about 63. Can't believe I almost forgot that. All right, everyone, uh, have a good election day. Thank God it's over, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.